Alright, copy that. Alright, you know, I started riding bikes when I was like, you know, maybe 12 years old. Stepdad showed me how. I, uh, I grew up in Greenville, North Carolina. Very heavy BMX scene. Dave Mira, Ryan Nyquist lived there. All of my friends got into riding BMX, skateboarding. You know, having a mountain bike, having a BMX bike, having like a little BMX scooter. And uh, my whole life, 33 years, has just always been about bikes and skateboards and like having fun. And, and, you know, trying to, to stay outdoors and be as active and just extreme for lack of a less ridiculous sounding word, you know, as possible. Alright, we're just gonna pick one up from the walker. It'll be there soon. The hobbies I have outside of riding bikes are stuff that um you know go kind of hand in hand like uh i've skateboarded for 18 years you know i'm filming a little video part that's gonna come out with some dudes in texas you know i'm 33 so like this is probably you know trying to really get the golden years of like filming skateboarding while my body's still able to throw it around um you know, reading and writing and being outdoors, and uh, I mean, all of that kind of ties back into biking. We have a one way to the U.S. D.C. Uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office. Courthouse. Well, you know, I enjoy applying stuff I've learned like riding BMX and having friends at BMX like into my you know courier kind of city riding you know like I've got a track bike it's a little bit smaller it's a little built more like I would say like you know a tricky freestyle bike would be and um, I mean basically I just like racing through the city and making my own rules and you know hopping up stuff downstairs upstairs over curbs you know if I see a uh, bag of trash or a cardboard box in the road like I'm gonna bunny hop over it because like that's what I've always done skateboarding you know you just jump over stuff you jump down stuff you race in and out and dodge and like basically I just like looking at uh you know my work day is like what kind of tricks and what kind of tricky stuff I can incorporate into the day you know that's that's my favorite stuff is like for fun tricky kind of riding tricks at about 14 yeah that's exactly doing tricks about 14 and then uh that's when i met with a bunch of my homies from uh lower alston la you know what i mean um and then we really started just honing our skills just really riding 24 7 riding from school to school like that was back in high school it wasn't bad i mean for what it's worth it was actually pretty fun all the ladies dig this. Hobbies. Um, this is one of them. Got some paint, you know. This is Carnegie from Tokyo Ghoul. My uh, little sister-in-law loves that. So, you know. I like doing projects for people. Every now and then I'll, I'll do a drawing or a painting. I don't know where I was going. I'm more of a lone rider. I don't really ride with everybody all the time. I'm more of a ride by myself, but when I do ride with everybody, it's, it's, it's definitely lit. I'm a 
my favorite type of riding is um, definitely street because it's so unpredictable. You can literally hit anything and use anything as means of the next trick. I ride because it is it's been with me the longest time I can remember. All the hard times, all the anxiety. Just I've always had my bike there to be able to overcome that specifically. Those um it's just it's just always been like a milestone for me to feel better, to be better, to do something like I've always loved to do. Like once I've seen BMX one day, I seen it on um on the X Games, I was at this hotel with my family and I turned the news on and the X Games was on and saw BMX for the first time and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then I picked it up from there and I had it. And it's just been there ever since I needed it. So I ride now because I mean, it's, it's just it's close to heart. I even got a, 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 a sprocket tattoo right here next to the heart just for that reason. I ride a bicycle because I think it's the best way that I personally can advertise for a habit and a form of transportation that I think is extremely healthy for myself and also really healthy for the environment. And I think that the bicycle as a form of transportation has the capacity to solve a lot of the world's problems, be it obesity or, um, I don't want to stretch too far, but even poverty and a lot of other things like that. I think that. The infrastructure in the United States is extremely uh, difficult to navigate in a lot of cities with traffic becoming a lot worse and people moving to cities and I think that the bicycle can solve a lot of transportation problems and it can make people feel better and um, it can also just allow you to have a really good time. For work, I work for the City of Boston's Youth Cycling Program and I travel around to different Boston public schools and teach third graders through 10th graders how to ride bicycles. Um, usually high schoolers and middle schoolers already know how to ride bikes, so a lot of our work is making sure that they know how to use the bike infrastructure that already exists in the city or um, basically teaching them how to ride safely around cars. I think that bikes are extremely important in today's society, not only because of the transportation role that they play, but also for fitness and also for the sustainability of the world. Uh, transportation wise, I think that they're an extremely cheap and fast and enjoyable way to get from place to place, especially in the city of Boston. I think that with all of the congestion and traffic and the sometimes confusing streets that we have here, I think a bicycle is by far the fastest and best way to get from point A to point B. Um, I think that bicycles are extremely healthy and they can help combat the obesity that we now see in the country. And I think that our world is frankly headed for a very dark place sustainability wise if we cannot fix a lot of the problems that we have and our reliance on cars and um, dirty forms of transportation. When and how did I start riding a bike? Um, I was a little kid in Iowa, 
and Ragbri was coming through town, which is a big, gigantic cycling event where people bike the, the length of Iowa. And I was walking down Main Street with my dad, I was probably like four, and I saw all these cyclists, and I guess I just got all excited and energized, and my dad said, do you want a bike? And I shook my head, and we instantly went in the bike shop, and I saw a bike, and that was it. I uh, never turned back, I was probably about four. So that's how I got into biking, a little BMX bike. As cheesy as it sounds, I love all types of biking. Um, I do love what I'm doing here today. I think it's a total rush. Uh, it pushes you, it gets you way out of your comfort zone. Um, but I love doing huge charity rides and biking with other people, the energy of it all, um, the, the heart racing rush of a cyclocross race, um, cross country racing, and sometimes just getting on a road bike and, and getting up in New Hampshire and Vermont and just biking forever. Um, they all provide something different for me and uh, I'd say one of the biggest things is just that feeling of freedom um, and just being on a bike and you're just going that's what I felt when I was a little kid is just being able to get on that bike and just go for a long bike ride and just figure out life my other hobbies uh, besides biking um, I grew up playing music so my mom was a violin teacher and my dad was a drummer so I play both those instruments and uh, still love to play music today, so I don't know if it's really a hobby, it's more of a passion, something that I do. Um, a lot of biking, lots of other sports, um, surfing, snowboarding, um, trail running. I don't know if those are really hobbies, they're just sports. I don't know if I have a hobby. Cooking? I like to cook. Okay, I do have a hobby. I like to make beer, so that, I think, that's my hobby. I like making beer. Right now, I am still coaching and personal training. Um, different people all over Boston for sports and general fitness. Uh, and I've been doing that for a really long time and having fun right now working at a um, bike shop in downtown Boston called Urban Cycles. So helping those guys out right now. And that's pretty much it for the moment. Looking at what is next. I don't know. This is a serious question and I need to take the helmet off. I need to take the helmet off for this one. This is a serious question. Um, I ride because, as I said earlier, it gives me that sense of freedom. Um, and it has been a major reason why um, I stay happy in life. Um, to, to be on bikes, to connect with the whole biking community has been really, really, really important for me, especially the last 10 years. Um, I was out of biking for a while. I had a bad accident. Um, and was told that I wouldn't be able to, to bike or run. And um, to be able to kind of battle through that um, depression of not being able to bike and be athletic, and to be able to mountain bike and road bike, um, again, has, has been, been, been keeping me alive and, and happy. Um, so that's, a, to me, a very serious question. That sense of freedom and love and, and connectedness with my environment, the woods, and again, the people and everything. It's, uh, it's a great community to be a part of. Oh. Oh. Alright, why do you ride? Oh, geez.